they want to stalk us, research us, before they decide to work with us. How's it going everyone? Mana here, back to answer your questions in under two minutes. And today's question comes from Camillo on LinkedIn. Cat lover here too, Mana. Yay, I don't know where Mimi is today, but she's usually here with me. What about this new trend that blends marketing with sales? Do you think it's here to stay? But before I dive into the question, wait until the end of this video, because we're gonna plug in a really funny video that we found this week. All right, let's talk about sales and marketing. I love that sales and marketing are starting to be blended. Some of the most successful companies we've worked with have blended marketing departments with their sales departments. And even better, they've added customer service to the mix. Some of them also have an overlap with HR because HR uses digital channels so much these days. In fact, ideally, customer service and PR should be all part of the same thing because we need to think digital first. So our consumers are online. How do they engage with us? You know, they want to send us questions. They want a good user experience. Um, they want to stalk us, research us, before they decide to work with us. Even if we met them at an expo, like, you know, back before COVID, <laughs> I will guarantee you that they go to your website, they'll do their research on LinkedIn before they even take that next step of talking to you. We also know that not only that it takes over 12 touch points, 12 touch points to convert a lead, we need a combination of, of communication efforts for us to accomplish that sale. So it's gotten a lot more complicated. Also, there's more and more people involved in the decision-making process, and that may be consuming content differently. So to be successful at that, we all have to be, a be doing a little bit. Marketing has to do their own set of communications because you know somebody on that committee will see an email here or a social media post there. This type of marketing is called account-based marketing, where we look at a sales account overall, not just trying to identify and convince that one particular decision maker. The two merging is very, very important and the companies that are the most successful are the ones who do it and who do it well. Now, one of the challenges that we see in this is that a lot of companies still have the old sales model that's commission-based. And that causes conflict between sales and marketing because if marketing creates leads, who gets the commission? And so we see a lot of resistance from the traditional sales-based organizations. Um, we see a lot of resistance on the sales side to make this really work, you really have to re-engineer, figure out how that collaboration between teams needs to be structured, figure out where the digital, digital tools have to become a part of the sales process and where they're okay if they're just an add-on. So there's a lot of things to consider and I will make another video on that at a later date. Until then, enjoy this funny moment. You feel me? Okay, he's going nuts. What'd you expect? Nothing, pretty simple. Dan just doing Dan. And don't forget to subscribe, give this a thumbs up, and I will see you back here next time.